What's up, my precious little pack, and welcome back to Vega Conflict. Today I just want to talk about the aesthetic of the Tier 7, how good they all look, and then I'm going to bash on how the carrier looks. It's still not in-game, but it just is such a slap in the face to the rest of the tier and how they all aesthetically look. It's... It's hard to explain how it looks, and I'm not going to show how it looks or anything like that. We're just going to go over the aesthetic of how each of the ships look. How each one looks so well-rounded, crafted, and everything like that. You take a look at the equivalent lower tier, you can clearly see the difference in modeling and everything like that. It's bigger, it's longer, it's everything. Well, the carrier is... I don't want to insult butts with this one because it, I'm pretty sure butt looks better than it. <laughs> but take a, just take a close look at all of these and when the event goes live and we can view the model in game, well not the model when you can actually see it here, you'll see just how ugly it is in comparison to them. That one looks well rounded, sleek, beautiful curves elegant coloring, all the nice things. Same with each other ones. They're all elegantly made, they all look beautiful, and they're sleek. That's something I really love about the Altarian faction. Their ships are all sleek, every single one. Go back to the other tiers, they're not as sleek, but the Altarians, they're sleek. And then, you get the carrier. And I'm, I'm, this is going to be part one, because when the carrier comes out, I'm going to bash on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to literally throw everything I can on top of it. But, first off, before I go any further, Profile. let's go back. We got, alright, the Doomsday event. The Titan Planet Destroyer is fully charged and pointed at Rebel Headquarters. Our window of opportunity to sabotage has passed. We evacuate as many people as we can, but the loss of infrastructure will end the rebellion and leave us as scattered refugees. Pardon we're already refugees. Most of us co command our own fleets. We are literally better than you in every possible way. Not once have you actually led us in combat. We, as the rebels, are actually superior to your, and you know what? We aren't rebels anymore. We've gone far beyond that because we beat Vega. We're not rebels. From the time we beat Vega, we were so much more. We were a group of our own. We weren't the rebels. We were the culmination, the gathering, the army <laughs> of space, of Vega. Just not of the Vega Federation. It's not like we're to give up so easily. I wonder what's got into the old man. I have a contact in the oligarchs whose tastes are unique. Tastes that only someone with my connections can supply. He has delayed their f test fire by several days and also slipped me the specs for an Altarian carrier. You can thank me later, now go save the rebellion. I knew we were getting an oligarch carrier. I called it. And it looks ugly compared to the uh, the Altarians we've been working with. It, it literally just looks like some horribly mutated, ugly thing. It looks like, let me put it this way. The easiest thing I can show off is a Dominion Carrier and then tell you exactly what it looks like in comparison. Now, imagine the Dominion Carrier. Actually, I have the blueprint for it, do I not? Yeah, I do. Okay, imagine this. Now, flip the carrier upside down so the top point is facing down. Now, turn the hull around so it's facing backwards so that the engines are the engines are facing us. Now, slide these wings back on the carrier so that they're towards the thrusters a little bit further so that this front piece actually sticks out and thicken it. That's it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> it's basically an inverted Dominion carrier. <laughs> and oh, it is so ugly. I was hoping that there would be something good for him. Remember what I said, everybody. You have to be within firing range of three ships with the carrier for it to activate your support field. My Paladin carrier doesn't need garbage like that for its support field to be active. Second, 
from what I noticed. People are saying that the squadrons look better than it. I haven't seen the squadrons yet, but I will be taking a peek at them later. <laughs> I've just been a bit preoccupied and hadn't been in the game much, and I saw the carrier and I just thought, Wow, you're one ugly piece of junk. And yes, I'm going to call it the ugly piece of junk for now because as far as I'm concerned, the Paladin Carrier is superior to it. Just because its support field is active 24-7, no matter what. Now, we have yet to see the Carrier, though, so we don't know how many shield slots it has, how many armor slots it has, how many squadron hangar... No, how many hangar bays it has. Because they're no longer squadrons, they're hangars, because you also have weapons that can go onto them. How many specials it has, things like that. Now, I already guessed its weight and everything like that a while back. I, however, did not expect it to be some ugly mutant ship. I actually expected it to be a little bit more like a bastion mixed with a battleship with a side of actual carrier in proportions. I was thinking it would be kind of like the bastion. It would take the primary hull shape, which is this, and actually chop off the wings take the front of the the paragon for the most part from about here forward and take the wings from it put it on this one essentially spin it backwards and attach a very 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 big bulky sphere actually no I don't even want to set it like that cuz I imagine it wouldn't even look like that I would imagine a large sphere that's been cut in half and carefully carved out so it looks partially like the front of the bastion here but it's just much much larger so it looks imposing and cool and we don't want it flying backwards like the freaking vanquisher or the paladin <laughs> if it flies backwards I'm gonna be annoyed even more so because that's gonna be the most ugly thing you're ever gonna see flying in this game and I thought the paladins were ugly flying backwards I think this one takes the cake <laughs> But we're going to go ahead and we're going to kick back for a bit. What is it that I'm doing? Farming, upgrading, repairing, modifying fleets, building up a cargo fleet, things like that. Small things, things that don't matter that much. And as it stands right now, the only thing we can do is speculate about the event, how hard it's going to be, stuff like that. And we know we're getting an oligarch carrier, and the model even is a bit more red focused than blue. <clears throat> now, the one thing I'm curious about is if Kickstarter will at least listen to the player base and completely change how the carrier looks because I'll be looking at the squadrons after I'm done with this video, but I really would like for them to change the carrier because it does not look good in my eyes at all. <clears throat> Literally talking my own throat out. <laughs> But, I mean, <clears throat> in comparison to all of the other ships we've gotten from the Tier 7 faction, that all look sleek and beautifully designed. I would have expected the carrier to be sleek and beautifully designed as well, but as I described it, it looks like a Dominion has been flipped upside down, spun backwards, and slightly slid around. That's it. Nothing special about it. It's just completely an ugly mess. And I'd rather have it redone and look sleek and beautiful and fit in with the rest. The red color design is fine and everything like that. It, it just adds a little bit of difference to it, but I would rather have it look sleek and elegantly designed and not like it was just rushed out and just quickly modeled off of a Dominion that's been spun backwards and just slightly shifted around for the wings. Well, not the wings, it's carrier bays. Oh, I hope that the things on it aren't the carrier bays because those are the ugliest things that you're ever going to see. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody, I've, I've talked more than enough. Pretty sure I talked a few of your ears off just complaining about how the carry looks and describing it. But that's going to be it for this video, everybody. If you've seen the carrier, please tell me what you think, Fix. I want to make sure I'm not the only one that thinks it's ugly right now. And I'm going to take a look at its squadron draft after this, and I'll probably make a comment about them, too, in the comment section myself. I'll be the first one to post the comment. <laughs> but 
If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and that'll be it for now, everybody.